today's video is going to be a recap on some products that I got a couple months ago in the mail. The products I'm talking about are the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift volume filler products. I did get four different products from the brand Influencer. Um, I will leave their link down below as well as the unboxing of these products. Um, I got the night cream. I have the daily moisturizer. I have the serum and the eye filler. So those are the products that I got in the influencer box. Like I said, I will leave all that stuff down below. Um, first things I want to go over is I tried these products out multiple times. So I tried them for two weeks. I stopped. I tried them for two weeks, even though it says it takes up to four weeks to see results. But I tried them for the first two weeks. Everything was fine. Everything was going great. And then all of a sudden I started to like break out and get bumps on the sides of my face here. Um, I don't know which product did it because I was using all of them at the same time and instead of only using one to find out which product it was, I just stopped using them all together. They do have very similar ingredients because they are a volume filler and so I just stopped using them all together. I will not be using these again um, just because like I said, they did break out my skin in the weirdest way, it caused funny little like white bumps on the sides of my face and so I will not be using the products. but. Honest opinion is they are great products. Do I think they fill in the volume? I did notice under my eyes were not as sunken in um, from using the eye serum filler, eye filler, <laughs> um, but they were great products. The smell is amazing. It is not a very strong perfumey smell. It's a very clean light smell. It's hard to describe it, but it's a very clean light smell smell um, and I did like that a lot. The packaging itself is great, have very heavy duty packaging, um, you know, the flip tops with the squeezy tube, love that. Even the eye serum um, have these cute little twist off caps with the really cute tips so you get just a little bit of product instead of squeezing out too much which was really nice. The serum itself had a pump on the bottom so you just pushed up on the bottom and it squirted out the tiniest amount so you did not overuse the product or abuse the product. Um, I'm reading some notes here, I just want to make sure I catch all of the points here. Uh, the product itself was very moisturizing, very smooth, very light on the skin. Um, like the night cream obviously you use at night before you go to bed. It was not sticky. It, Like I said, the smell was not overwhelming. It was very, very, very nice. Very luxurious products to me. Um, I don't use a lot of these products every day. Um, like I don't use a night cream. I just use moisturizer. Um, so it was a really nice routine to get into to use these products. Um, the quality is great sizes is great. I'm going to talk to you guys about the pricing really quick. Um, so for the volume eye filler, it is $17.97 at Walmart. The night cream is $17.97 at Walmart. And I'm sorry, you get, does it tell you how much you get? 0.5 fluid ounces for the eye cream. You get 2.0 fluid ounces of the night cream. The eye serum, oh, I have the daily moisturizer. Here is 2104 and you get, how much do you get? 1.7 ounces. The ice, or I'm sorry, the revolumizing concentrated serum is $18.97 at Walmart and you get it 0.5 fluid ounces. So you definitely get a lot of product for your money. Um, like I said, I did not purchase these products. These products were sent to me and I just figured I needed to give you guys my honest opinion. Like I said, the price, you know, you're gonna get what you pay, you know what I mean? I think the sizes of these products are amazing. They're still full, you know, like the moisturizer I used night and day, and you still have a ton of freaking product in there. So I, I did like the product. I did like the way it made my skin feel, but for whatever reason, my skin did not like it. I'm not sure what in here caused my skin not to like it, but for whatever reason, it did not like that. It has nothing to do with the L'Oreal brand itself because I do own some L'Oreal lotions and stuff like that, um, face washes, stuff like that. But those, unfortunately, it wasn't itchy. It just caused bumps on the sides of my face. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, I am going to be sending these products to my mom to give her a try. She's super excited. She said she's seen them in the stores and she's super excited, but she doesn't want to spend the money just in case she doesn't like them. So I am not going to throw them away. I am going to send them to her and see what she thinks. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have tried out these products and you love them, please let me know, even if you don't like them. I'll be happy to read your comments. If you guys have any video requests or anything like that, make sure you go ahead and leave it down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.